it's it, it's painful it's painful but uh, there's no other way we can do it it's painful we have gone to quarantine it's a bit heavy to carry but It's hard. We shook hands with this guy on Monday 16th at the office. And then we had another meeting with him somewhere else. And it is me who told the department to take this guy to quarantine and to test it because I felt inside my heart something was wrong. Na kama singa yasema yu mtu ayende spitali, no one could have remembered this thing. Bilal, Anissa, Alio, you see, it was like a joke. But now it has come to reality that our deputy governor is corona positive. Thank you, Kagwe, for saying we'll take him to court. Let him go. He doesn't care about the lives of the people. He has infected with this virus. He's an animal. He's a killer. We don't need him anymore. How can you sit with the governor and you know you are sick? How can you sit with us, shake hands with us, and you know you are sick? The governor told you to go for quarantine for one month. He gave you one month leave to go. But you denied animal like you. I'm so bitter about this guy. I have no apology for all these words I'm using. He's never serious in life. You have made us go to, to go for quarantine. Quarantine is not easy. Quarantine is very expensive. Quarantine, you don't move. You sit in the house. You eat there. You don't move outside. You are forced to stay in that house for 14 days. Here you are, you are doing nonsense. We will impeach you, Deputy Governor. We will impeach you. You are useless. Very useless person. How dare give us diseases like this? But yako, saburi, mtai amesema utashiko pole kwe jela. Ungerudi hapa tumikupura mawe. Live. We don't need you. You're an animal. You're an animal, deputy governor. We don't know our fate. We don't know if we are also victims. We don't know. Our families, our children, our parents. You want to kill everybody. 